So since we're in Gaiman, I decided to look up someone that I knew was here. And they are buried in this cemetery. This is Elmhurst Cemetery. And the best way I can say to find it is there's kind of this circle courtyard deal. There's an informational booth right over there, and it was locked. But it was still relatively easy to find this person. Uh, the marker is different than most of the other markers in the cemetery. But let me show you who I'm talking about. So this is who we're talking about, Sammy Smith. And if you notice on the headstone, it says CMA artist and girl hero. Now she was born Jewel Faye Smith in Orange County, California, but she spent her childhood in a few places, uh, several different states. But on an episode of Hee Haw, she claimed once that Guyman, Oklahoma was her hometown. Uh, she ended up marrying young at the age of 15 and had three kids. After the third kid, she divorced in 1966. And then she started playing and singing country music. And in 1967, a bass player of Johnny Cash's discovered her in a nightclub there in Oklahoma City. And he pretty much encouraged her to move to Nashville, in which she did. And then Johnny Cash helped her get signed to Columbia Records. There she had her first uh, minor country hit, which was So Long Charlie Brown, Don't Look For Me Around. And uh, she then married her second husband, which was Jody Payne. Uh, he, he was one of Willie Nelson's guitarists, um, probably the guitarist, I guess, for a long time, because they played together for a long time. Now, they ended up having one son together, which was uh, Waylon Payne. And it, that name, Waylon, was taken from Waylon Jennings, who was his godfather. And in 1971, uh, she had probably one of the biggest years of her life. One, she ended up marrying uh, that Jody Payne, but she also had her first major hit. It hit number one in the country uh, charts, but also number eight in the Billboard charts. And this, this hit made her really famous. It was uh, Help Me Make It Through the Night. And it was written by Chris Christofferson, who at the time was an unknown guy. He, he wasn't singing. He was just writing songs, but he hadn't really been discovered yet. And so this hit made him big too. But this was such a big hit and there was so much success with it that uh, it was covered by other artists. And, um, and I mean big artists. Some of those artists were uh, Loretta Lynn, Glenn Campbell, Jerry Lee Lewis, Willie Nelson, and then of course Elvis Presley. That's just a few of the big ones. And she was always considered an outlaw country woman, which I think that's where they get the girl hero on the headstone from. I'm not sure, but you know, she was an outlaw country woman when in a time period where that was mostly men singing, like Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings. Um, and those two gentlemen, she remained friends along with Willie Nelson for the rest of her life. Close personal friends with them, in fact. But she stayed a country outlaw artist through the 1970s, despite uh, pop country being the more popular kind of country music. Um, she continued to have top 40 hits, but in the mid-1980s, she decided to get out of the limelight, and she married her third husband, and... Uh, they ran a cattle ranch in Bristow, Oklahoma. Um, she occasionally made appearances on various shows, including the Grand Old Opry. Um, but for the most part, just stayed out of the, out of the uh, fame and, and light of um, modern country music. Um, she eventually passed away in her sleep from emphysema. But she was a big country music artist. I mean, in 1971, she had Single of the Year. In 1972, she had Best Female Country Vocalist Performance. Um, in 1998, she was uh, in the Gra Grammy Hall of Fame. And she was also nominated for the Album of the Year in 1971, as well as the Best Female Vocalist overall, not just for country music. So 
if you're ever in Guymon and you want to pay your respect to a uh, country music artist who is uh, definitely a big one and had a lot of influence on future women in country music, she's right here in Oklahoma, Sammy Smith. And then the Johnson is from this husband right here, which it says cow hand underneath him. Don't believe he's passed away yet, but just right here.